Faith does not let facts rule it. Faith lets truth rule it. Faith believes that truth can overrule facts. And I'm talking about the truth of God. You see, God can change your circumstances if you would quit looking at the facts and look at the truth. There's a passage over in Romans chapter 4, verse 9. speaks about Abraham. It says, without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about 100 years old and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet, can y'all say yet? Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God. In other words, he believed God's promise, which is truth, can overrule circumstantial facts. Maybe right now the fact is the doctor has given you no hope of recovery, but the truth is by Jesus' stripes you are healed. Maybe the facts are that you don't have enough money to pay your bills, but the truth is, Philippians 4.19, my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Maybe the fact is you can't conceive and have a child, but the truth is God's word says none shall miscarry, but all shall be uh, fruitful in the land. Maybe the fact is, Pastor, your church isn't growing, but the truth is, Acts and the Lord added to the church daily those that are being saved, and the church grew in numbers and in favor with God and men. You see, maybe the facts are your children don't want to have anything to do with God, but the truth is, Isaiah 54, all of my children shall be taught of the Lord, and grace shall be their peace. What I'm trying to tell you is sometimes we face mountains and difficulties and situations we don't like. But you can decide to believe what God says and let the truth overrule the fact, or you can allow the facts to dominate the truth. You see, Abraham knew he had to believe what God had promised, even if the facts said he couldn't have a child. But he believed what God said, and God turned it around. You see, I first learned about this truth of fact and, and, and faith from a man named Kenneth E. Hagin. He was a minister. Uh, and had an incredibly fruitful ministry. But when he was a teenager, the doctors had given up, given up hope. They said that he would never recover. He had an incurable blood disease. He had an incurable heart disease, and he was paralyzed. But as he started to read the Bible, he found out that healing belongs to him. He found in James chapter 5 that the prayer of faith will make the sick person well. He read in Mark eleven twenty four. 24, Jesus said, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have it and you shall receive it. And so he began to realize he had to trust God, even if the circumstances told him that he would never recover. So right there in his bed, he began to thank God for his healing. He began to thank God that he's getting healed from his incurable blood disease, his heart disease, the paralysis. And as he began to thank God, the thought came to him, sick people are not bedridden. They get up and walk. So he grabbed the best po bed post, pulled him himself over the bed. And as, he, as his feet touched the ground, he says it was like needles piercing him because he, had he hadn't used his legs for a long time. But he began to act in his faith and he stood up. And after a while, he walked into the kitchen and his family thought Lazarus had been raised from the dead. It was incredible. And that was many years ago. And he lived into his 80s because he believed God. Friend, when I heard that story, it just inspired me to believe God for the impossible. But when I say the impossible, what God has said. I'm not going to believe outside of the Bible. I'm going to believe within the promises of God. And friend, if you will believe within the promises and, and find scriptures that cover the thing you're praying about, stand on God's word like Abraham did, I'm telling you, God will change your circumstances. The truth of God will overrule the facts.